Okay, this how-to video is going to run through uh, one of the P-SPICE examples that can be found in analog design and simulation using AllCAD Capture and P-SPICE, a book that was written by Dennis Fitzpatrick. Uh, Dennis is an ex-Cadence applications engineer. So if we go to page 131 of that book, and um, we're going to run through exercise two, which is a non-linear center tap transformer circuit, and we're just going to run some voltage simulations uh, on the primary and secondary windings. So we'll start off with a new project. Uh, let's just give it a name of transformer. Just stop that in the same location. Uh, again, making sure it's an analog or mixed AD project type. We'll do a blank project and then we'll start to draw our circuit. So, place piece by component. It's got a source, a voltage source, and we want a, a sine wave. And these values, we can double click on the on the symbol and we need to go and set uh, V off to be zero, V amp to be 230 volts, and the frequency to be 50 hertz. Right, let's add a couple of ground symbols from the source location. Standard Windows Control copy and paste. Uh, we'll place a couple of resistors. In this one they need to be a hundred ohms. And this one needs to be point one of an ohm. Uh, and then we need to add some inductors, so so the winding parts. So these are a hundred. And the primary side is going to be eight hundred. Okay, let's wire this up. W for the wire command. And then we want to add some net aliases, so we want to Let's have primary control edit secondary one control edit again and secondary two okay um then what we need to do is obviously add the, the core so if we go place parts we'll look at the magnetic library Again, new library, we can browse the piece by location for the magnetic library. I've already added it, and then we pick the core that we want to use. So let's just double click and add the core. So we then need to obviously associate the inductors with, with the core. So let's uh, let's double click on the core properties. So for L1, we're going to use L1, L2, and L3. And I just want to display those values, so I'm going to select all those properties in one go. Go to display, hit the value only, um, and while we're here, let's change the coupling to be 0.99. Okay. So we're ready to go. So what we need to do now is uh, let's create a simulation profile, and we want to do a yeah, let's just do a transient sweep. Well, not a sweep, just a transient a time domain transient. Uh, and we're going to run this for. 50 milliseconds. And then we'll add some voltage markers, one for the primary and one for each for the secondaries. Run the simulation. And you can see the voltage waveforms for the nonlinear transformer.